everybody. I'm Laura Trump coming to you from Studio 45 at Trump Tower in New York City. Peace and prosperity may be back in America under Donald Trump, but we have to fight for every single vote. Joining me is the CEO of the Urban Revitalization Coalition and the pastor of the New Spirit Revival Center, Dr. Daryl Scott. Pastor Scott, thank you so much for joining us. We love having you on. Thank you for having me once again. So at the White House, Black History Month uh, was celebrated recently, and you got a shout out directly from President Trump. Take a look. A friend of mine, he's a pastor, but he's one of the toughest human beings I've ever seen. I think he's almost too tough to be a pastor, but we won't say. And I used to watch him rip apart the CNN people. Then they won't put him on anymore because they didn't win. They only put uh, people on that uh, say bad stuff. But he would take people or I mean, he's just very legit. He's an incredible guy. He's an unbelievable person to have as a friend. Pastor Daryl Scott. Where is he? Where is he? Yep. Thank you, Pastor. Wow. Pastor Scott, first of all, um, how incredible to be directly called out like that uh, by the president. But could you have ever imagined how much this president could accomplish for black America? You know, this president has done so much and is doing so much for the African-American community as far as fulfilling the promises that he has made. He asked our community the question, what do you have to lose? And at the time, it was very difficult for a number of us to answer that question because things had gotten to the point where we really didn't have a lot to lose considering the condition that uh, the Democratic Party has the African-American communities in. Then he came in with home run and slam dunk after home run and slam dunk. You're talking about opportunity zones that incentivizes investors to um, revitalize the urban communities, criminal justice reform, prison reform. He appointed Ben Carson, head of the... Uh, of HUD, who's being very, very aggressive and very proactive regarding uh, housing in the, in the urban communities. Jo, uh, he's, uh, SBA is being very proactive as well. Uh, he's trying to uh, stimulate minority businesses. He's exceeded expectations on every level, and the Democrats, quite frankly, don't have an answer to it. Well, they don't, and that's why whenever they have no answer and whenever they're upset by how much this president has accomplished, Pastor Scott, we know what they do. They attack. They always attack. And no shock, the left-wing media also attacked black Trump supporters after that event. Watch this. He has not made any serious effort to reach black no. people. And then the idea that anybody would sit in a room with Donald Trump and call him the first black president after we had Barack Obama as the president of the United States shows just what kind of Uncle Toms were sitting in that room in Ooh. the first place. That's ridiculous. It's an outrage that they would even, anybody would sit in that room and say something like that. So that's it's right. a shocking, that's... appalling, disgusting okay. thing he said. Uh, what do you think, Pastor Scott? Uh, I want to get your response to that, but I also want to hear from you. Do you think that the left is feeling a little threatened by the president's successful policies? Absolutely. First of all, what's shocking, appalling, and disgusting is that CNN would allow that guy to use that derogatory racial slur right. against members of the black community. I mean, if, we, uh, if, if, that's, if, if derogatory slurs were used against any other group, there will be outrage. But CNN sat there and laughed while that guy did that. It just shows that they're desperate, they're grasping at straws. You know, they had another criticism about who are these people that are up there? What are their qualifications? First of all, what are the qualifications to go to the White House? Everybody has to have a degree in political science or something. The president wants to connect with people that are connected to the community. Grassroots activists were in that room, people that were active in the communities, talking to the man on the street, because those are the people that this president connects to. What they're upset about is that, and this is a term you don't hear, Laura, they're upset because he didn't invite the black swamp to the White House. He said he's going to drain the swamp. There's a black component to that swamp as well. Mm -hmm. And he called us up to have constructive dialogue, not to be arguing, arguing, not to have destructive dialogue. And they're upset about it because a number of them that think they should be in there aren't in there. And so they resort to this, uh, to these name calling and different things. It's just a level of ignorance that is not surprising that's coming out of the Democratic Party. Yeah. Daryl, you know we're fighting for every single vote, but this election is so important as we head towards November. If you had one thing to say to people out there uh, who were on the fence about supporting Donald Trump, what would you say to convince them to come over to this side? 
Well, I will say this, Laura, if you don't want to believe in him for the words that he speaks, believe in him for the works that he does. Yeah. His works speak for themselves. He has a track record. You know, back in 2016, we were um, proclaiming hope and optimism and saying, when he said, what do you have to lose? He was actually saying, give me a chance. Right. Well, we gave him that chance. We allowed him to step up to the plate. And he's been hitting home run after home run after home run. Back then, we tried to point towards the future and say, this is what Donald Trump will do. Now we can point to the past and say, this is what Donald Trump has done. And he'll continue to do it. If we elect him for a second term, it's only going to get better and better and better. Well, Pastor Scott, we always love having you on, but I really want to say a big thank you to you. You've been such a strong supporter of this president and of the black communities in this country. And everything you are doing out there really, I think, is having a major impact every single day. So thank you for all that you do for this country. And thanks for being with us today. Thank you. God bless you. Trump supporters may get maligned, but they know success when they see it. And they're helping us fight for every American vote. That's the real news for today. If you'd like to get involved with Team Trump, go to DonaldJTrump.com or text Trump to 88022 to join our winning team. I'm Laura Trump from Studio 45 at Trump Tower in New York City. Thanks for joining us, everybody.